and today I'm going to detail how the bitter bioflavonoid Naringen protects against the skin inflammation provoked by prolonged exposure to the ultraviolet radiation of direct sunlight. And while the internal skin protection is actually the work of Naringen's active form called Naringenin, which the body easily converts ingested Naringen into, I'm going to still refer to it as Naringen because this is usually how you're going to find it as a supplement. It's well known that prolonged sun exposure can cause rapid premature skin aging, what's specifically known as photoaging. And this condition is distinguished by both a sharp decrease in collagen and a concurrent increase in something called matrix metalloproteinase 1, or MMP1, which is also known as interstitial collagenase. MMP1 is pro-inflammatory, and it's also the primary metabolic enzyme activated by exposing the skin to long periods of direct sunlight. Normally, MMP1 activity is tightly controlled and reserved for restorative tasks like wound healing, but chronic, ongoing ultraviolet skin exposure causes abnormal MMP1 expression, and once activated, MMP1 binds directly to the skin's collagen and begins to degrade this critical structural protein. Naringen, when ingested regularly, significantly inhibits sunlight-induced MMP1 activity along with the equally inflammatory MMP13, while also reducing transepidermal water loss and enhancing the function and long-term survival of keratinocytes, which are the primary cells in the epidermis that maintain the structural integrity of the epidermal barrier. What this really means is that keratinocytes protect the skin from water loss, infection, and ultraviolet radiation. So in this way, Naringen literally strengthens keratinocytes and the benefits they normally provide while suppressing sunlight-induced wrinkle formation. Naringen is also a potent initiator of our metabolic master switch enzyme, activated monophosphate protein kinase, or AMPK. And while AMPK is famous for its effect on body fat and overall metabolism, in the skin, AMPK is also critical for orchestrating a proper restorative response to, to an external stressor like sustained exposure to direct sunlight. As we age, natural AMPK activity and our ability to metabolize glucose definitely degrades, and along with the type 2 diabetes that often accompanies this, there's also a chronic activation of something called the mechanistic target of rapamycin, or mTOR, which accelerates aging and inhibits the critical cellular cleansing process known as autophagy. By contrast, AMPK, which is voluntarily stimulated through caloric restriction, regular exercise, and some nutraceuticals like Naringen, activates and maintains autophagy. So for sun-damaged skin, this means that without the regulating force of AMPK, the unchecked elevation of mTOR can lead to the excessive keratinocyte proliferation that precedes conditions like psoriasis and skin cancer. Naringen is found in many food sources, and primarily citrus fruits, which certainly include my favorite Naringen source, the ever-elusive white grapefruit. As a supplement, you'll likely find Naringen in doses of around 500 milligrams per serving. Naringen can be especially helpful if you either have sensitive skin and or you're someone like me who doesn't believe in sunscreen at all. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.